हेलो एवरीवन राजकृष्णा दिस साइड एंड नमस्कार टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व वन मोर प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम पार्शियल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन वी नीड टू सॉल्व दिस फाइन सो लेट्स सी ऑन द फर्स्ट ग्लांस इट्स लुक एज इफ इट्स अ लग्रांजेस मेथड प्रॉब्लम अ लीनियर वन सो द बेसिक फॉर्मेट इज समथिंग लाइक दिस पी पी प्लस क्यू क्यू equals to r and this falls in that category so we can start by writing the auxiliary equation which is nothing but dx by capital p capital p is nothing but the coefficient of small p so whatever is there just paste it dy divided by y square z minus x and dz divided by z square x minus y this is the case obviously this doesn't look like uh, to be a problem which can be solved by method of grouping because if dx is there and if you want to club that with dz y is also coming so that is uh, proving to be a problem so we can have some more fractions generated using this l dx m dy n dz and uh, this l when multiplied by capital p this m when multiplied by capital q and this n when multiplied by r should give you a zero so we have to find such combinations of l m and n so now it's completely subjective but let's see uh because i am solving this problem for the second time for the first time i have tried that myself and uh, till now i have three such combinations although two is required to solve a problem but when i solved i got two obviously and when i saw a solution someone uh, at some whereas one more solution was uh, one more combination was there so we'll discuss all three let's stick to the two one combination you can see always that if you want to remove that x square y square and z square and then you will add they will cancel and give you zero so one combination can be taking l as 1 upon x square m as 1 upon y square and n as 1 upon z square so take any of them i'm taking the first one that doesn't matter equals to 1 upon x square dx 1 upon y square dy 1 upon z square dz now when you will divide this by x square x square will go you will be left with y minus z similarly z minus x similarly x minus y y is gone x is gone and z is gone so this is zero so dx these are just formalities which i am doing 1 upon x square dx fetch that zero to the other side so you are going to get 1 upon x square dx 1 upon y square dy 1 upon z square dz integrate it integration of 1 upon x square so you can write that as x power minus 2 so x power minus 2 plus 1 divided by minus 2 plus 1 x power minus 1 divided by minus 1 so you are going to get minus 1 by x 
so minus 1 by x similarly minus 1 by y similarly minus 1 by z c1 so minus common so 1 by x plus 1 by y plus 1 by z equals to minus c1 that minus c1 can be treated as some other constant let's say c2 and let that be equal to u so this is the first equation which we are getting here now our task is to find another set of multipliers so let's go back to the beginning so another set of multiplier so first tell me first let me tell you my set of multiplier how i found that so i just wrote this all so i had this uh, x square if i if you are not able to see look at your notebooks uh, because my image might put some hindrance to that visibility so x square y was there x square z is there then we do have uh, y square z y square x z square x z square y what we can do now i want to anyway make them zero so this three sets needs to be multiplied by some factor so look at the similar terms terms containing x and y are these two terms which i am circling i want to make them similar but if i will multiply something that will be multiplied by this also so i have to take one thing in mind whatever change will take place with x square z i can't do anything with that because i have to take only one thing in mind so x square y i want to make similar to y square x which i can uh, make by multiplying by y and uh, dividing by x but that will be a bit odd so what i am doing is making both of them similar that is one option and to do so i will multiply the first one by y so y square will be generated so one y i have to multiply that is for sure but i also have to take care of this x square z and z square x so to make both of them similar i need one z to be multiplied by this so one z so the first thing i got that i have to multiply this by yz similarly if i look at this y square z and z square y so this i need to multiply by one z so that's for sure this y square x to make y square x square so that it becomes similar to this i need one x so it's clear that zx is to be multiplied with second one and what about third one i need to make it z square x square so one x needs to be multiplied i want to make that z square y square so one y needs to be multiplied with this so there i get my multipliers only thing you need to see is whether they are making cancelling out them out or not so let me give some space for that and let's see whether they are cancelling each other or not so yz sorry x square i have i have y square and z as the first term then x square y z square as the second term as the third term i had uh, x y square z square at the fourth term i have x square minus sign x square y square z i'm just multiplying this inside fine and 
then I have x square y z square and then finally I have x minus of x y square z square so x y square z square x square y square z x square y z square fine they are cancelling and giving you zero fine so do i have sufficient space to yes somewhat space i have so this is it so i had my multipliers as yz zx and xy this video will go a bit longer because i have to discuss one more multiply just for your confidence so these are the three multipliers so let's move on just take any of them so i am taking this one doesn't matter dy by y squared z minus x dy by y squared z minus x first multiplier is yz zx xy yz zx xy so with this i have a dx dy dz denominator anyway becomes zero giving you yz dx zx dy xy dx equals to zero concentrate here you already know d of xy is x as it is derivative of y is dy plus y as it is derivative of x is dx similarly if i want to find d of xyz so x as it is derivative of yz sorry uh, xy as it is or take any two as it is so let's take i take yz as it is derivative of x plus xz as it is derivative of y plus xy as it is derivative of z okay same thing is here yz dx zx dy and xy dz so can i write this as d of xyz if i integrate now i get xyz equals to c3 because c1 c2 i have already used so there you see i have got two uh, you can also name this as v so from these two equations can i say phi of u comma v equals to 0 or phi of u is 1 by x 1 by y 1 by z and uh, sorry plus is there and uh, comma x y z equals to 0 here you get the solution no problem whatsoever so let's look at this once again what we did i will come to the other multiplier which was which i saw in uh, someone as solution as well so method of grouping was not working here so we chose multiply the first set of multiply was easy to take 1 upon x square 1 upon y square and 1 upon z square because these factors when removed y minus z z minus x and x minus y will end up giving you zero so then we integrated got this equation second set of multiply was a bit tedious to find but yes you need to find that it's good for your practice so try to make terms similar one at a time but yes you need to keep it in mind that whatever you multiply you will multiply with both of these terms so we did that we got yz zx and xy as the multiplier simplified them got equation final solution phi of u v z equals to z now what other multiplier which i saw one equation this you have to take other one either you can go with uh, my which is uh, this uh, yz whatever multiplier i got yz zx and xy or you have one more option that why not take 1 by x 1 by y and 1 by z as multipliers so because when we'll do so 
let's look at the problem how will it simplify now if you take that as multipliers this will become x y minus z y z minus x x y minus z y z minus x z x minus y are they sum is there sum giving you zero x y minus x z plus y z minus x y plus z x minus z y so z y z y z y y z y z z x z x x y x y yes they are giving you zero so clear take any of these so i'm taking dz by z square x minus y dz by z square x minus y this was there this equals to 1 by x 1 by y 1 by z divided by uh, this uh, what is there uh, 0 so you are getting 1 by here it will be dx dy and dz so 1 by x dx plus 1 by y dy plus 1 by z dz equals to 0 just integrate it integration of 1 by x is log x log y log z equals to 0 so log of log a plus log b plus log c you already know from childhood that that will give you log x y z equals to other constant c4 although this i am telling apart from this problem but you can take constant as c4 so or log c4 for the simplicity you can remove log from both sides so you get x y z equals to c4 so what you can do now because uh, c x y z you got here also x y z you got here also so you can go with one uh, this one and other it's your choice either go for y z z x and x y as multiplier so to summarize we got multipliers as 1 by x square 1 by y square 1 by z square because this is the main part of the problem to search for the multiplier because this is where we need to use our brain so uh, second one was y z z x and x y and the third one as i have discussed now is 1 by x 1 by y and 1 by z so that's it from my side as you can see this problem in a summarized fashion you can take the screenshot if possible so that's it from my side uh, you can always visit my playlist on partial differential equation i tried my best to make a good playlist i think this is the 90th question in that playlist if i'm not wrong so different topics uh, are covered in that playlist do watch that share to the friend thanks and have a very nice day once again